Hello, my name is Rick from the DWD Technology Group. Thank you for taking some time to take a look at this feature in Sage 100. I mean, let's face it, whether it's due to turnover, change in the marketplace, merging customers, at some point in time, you're going to need to clean up, maintain your customer list. Over time, you know, customers go away. Get new customers, customers change their name, customers merge. So let's take a look at a couple of tools that Sage provides to help us uh, keep our customer list organized. The first one I want to take a look at is let's go to accounts receivable and let's go to utility. And we're going to delete a customer. And that customer that we're well here. Let's go take a look at the customer real quick. That we're going to delete. And for our purposes, I created a customer called Delete. And we can see here that uh, we have a customer with an open invoice. We're going to go try and delete this guy. So again, like I said, we go to our utilities. Everybody has to be out of AR, uh, the AR module for this to happen. And sometimes it uh, may even include the sales order module. So we're going to select our customer that we want to delete. And you could do a range, but uh, for our purposes today, we're just going to do one. So we're going to, you have to click the proceed button. And it's going to tell you that you have to print the listing now gives you uh, something to give your auditors that said that you were intentionally trying to delete these customers. So we are going to take a look at that. Say preview. Oh, there it is. Okay, so you can see here we've got our customer delete and we're going to delete all of these files so it's going to say do you want to delete your customers now yes and it's going to say uh oh we're going to go take a look at the log we'll preview it and lo and behold it's not letting us delete it because we have an outstanding balance or we have an open invoice for that customer. Okay, so basically we're going to go real quick and do a cash receipts entry against that invoice to clear the customer and then we'll try to do the uh, delete utility again. And <clears throat> get our customer. Like that check and and we'll just auto and we'll accept that. Let's go back and change this to eight thirty one seven six eight. Accept that. Let's just post it real quick so that we can clear the customer record and then we'll go try to delete again. Go look at the customer record for our customer delete real quick. You'll see that we have a zero dollar balance on the invoice. So let's go through one more time on how to delete a customer. We will select our delete or our customer that we want. We will proceed. We will 
print our listing. And again, you can see that it's telling us we're going to delete this customer and all its records. And now when it says, do you want to delete change customer? Now we say yes. We'll, go, we'll take a look at the log. And you can see here that customer deleted from all files. Okay, so we'll X out of here. And we will select yes on do you want to continue. So now if we go look at our customer maintenance records, when we do a drop down, the delete customer is all gone. That is how to delete a customer. And again, I'd like to remind you, please test this in a test company first. Don't just go on the fly and do it in your live company. Uh, so make sure that you get a copy, do a backup of your company, and then go in and do it, test it, make sure that you get the desired results. Now, in addition to deleting uh, customers, you also have the ability to change and or merge customer records. So today we're going to look at merging two customers into a brand new customer. So when you do that, and you can see here, I have merge one and merge two will be the two customers that we're going to merge. And you can see here that it has an invoice out there uh, for Merge 1, an invoice out there for Merge 2, and we will uh, create a new customer number, and then you'll see Merge 1 and Merge 2 go away, And but it will bring along the history to your new customer number. So to do that, <clears throat> again, we go to our Delete and Change Customers uh, screen. And you can see now we're not deleting, but we're changing. Um, if you were just changing a customer number, you could put it both in starting and ending customer number and then put in a new customer number and it would change the customer number. Uh, but in our case, we are taking merge one and merge two. And we're going to create a brand new customer that's never been, that's never existed in new merge. So merge one and merge two will both go away and become combined new merge. Again, we just hit proceed. It tells us that we have to print out our audit paperwork. So let's preview that. of the actions that are about to happen. Merge one, destination, merge two, destination. So it's actually, they're gonna rename merge one and then the customers that are following the merge will actually merge into the new customer name number that was created. So we will say yes. Let's see what's going out there. Go take a look at the log. Okay. So it looks like it was successful. We'll go. And then again, we want to say yes, we want to continue. So let's go look at our customer maintenance and see what happens with our customer. drop down, you can see that merge one and merge two have disappeared and become new, new merge, okay? If we look at the invoices, both of the open invoices that had a balance came across to the new customer. So, 
So it is as simple uh, as that to clean up your customer list by changing customer numbers, merging customers if needed, or even deleting customers. So Sage has given us a couple tools that, that, that are able to keep your AR a little cleaner. Um, again, let me remind you, please test this process in a test company so that you're familiar with the processes. So before deleting any customers in your live company, make sure that you have a uh, clean backup that you can uh, install if needed. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Feel free to reach out to, to me. Otherwise, have a great day. Again, thanks for stopping by.